daytime? I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I have a secret. Miraculous! Thanks to you, Parisians can rest easy tonight. I can't wait to do the same. Good night, Master. <sighs> Marinette, you forgot to mention the school field trip. Uh, it's not like I'll be able to go anyway. What field trip? Oh, the whole class is taking the train to London tomorrow to see Big Ben. But if Hawk Moth creates a supervillain while I'm away, Cat Noir won't be able to capture the Akuma on his own, which means I have to stay. Too bad. Tough life of a superhero. Besides, I'm too exhausted to go anyway. Wait. The Horse Miraculous can be used to teleport back to Paris in the event of an Akuma situation. That's so cool! Thank you, Master! Ladybug definitely deserves a bit of fun, just like all young people her age. See you tonight! Hawk Moth already struck last night, so there's no chance there'll be another Akumatization today. A day of vacation! Finally! Far from Paris and those annoying Akumas! Good idea, Adrian! Huh? Trash must be thrown inside the trash can or it's littering. He's getting a fuck. No, please don't, Dad. You'll make me miss the train. You know that Chloe's relying on me. But the law is the law, sweetie. But you're not on duty yet, are you? Right now, you don't have to be anything but my dear sweet daddy. Hmm. You, you back, back right into me! You back into me! <sighs> <sighs> uh. <clears throat> Frustrated police officer with a passion for justice who has his hands tied. The ideal prey. Fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize him! Another polluter? That driver's getting a fine. His vehicle does not meet city standards. Daddy! Hurry up, Sabrina! Hurry up, Sabrina! Hurry up, oh. Sabrina! Hurry up, Sabrina! Hurry up, Sabrina! What's happening? I can feel the anger receding. Fly faster, my Akuma! Catch up with him! Operator cab. Yeah! Thanks, Mrs. Pate. This will make an awesome exclusive for my astronomy blog. You started another blog? I can't help it. Life is so interesting. Hey, isn't that Adrian? Affirmative, Marinette. That is indeed the Adrian Agrest. There was less than a 0.23% chance his father would allow him to come. Oh, yeah. This trip is gonna be amazing. Adrian, well, what are you doing here? I'm tired of my father keeping me from going on school field trips. You're disobeying him, dude? Technically not, because I didn't tell him about this one. That's sneaky smart, my dude. <laughs> The operator must keep his or her hand on here throughout the whole journey between Paris and London. It's called the dead man switch. And what would happen if you took your hand off it? The train would come to a stop. Even for just a second? It's a safety switch in case the operator feels faint, for example. That's why I've always loved traveling with my mom by train. Trains get from point A to B within the given time they're programmed, and they're safe. Programming is the best! Have you always wanted to drive a train? I always want to be a driver, yes. But my true dream is to be an astronaut, to drive a rocket across the universe. I decided to operate trains so I could be here while Max was growing up. A space mission lasts several months. I can never be away from my Maxi Poo that long. <laughs> but now my son's a young man. My mom's taken the exams to start her astronaut training. That's amazing. I'm expecting the test results today. You have no new emails. It's too early, Mom. The official document said 11 a.m. You'll get them during the train ride. 
If I pass the test, this trip will probably be my last. The next time I drive, I'll be manning the controls of a space shuttle, taking the next space crew to the moon. You have an 89.7% chance of passing. That still leaves a 10.3% chance of failing. I believe in you. You're the best. You're only going for the day. Why do you need such a huge suitcase? I have to be prepared for anything Chloe needs, Daddy. In the event of a hair crisis, in case Chloe wants a cup of her favorite tea. I'm proud of you, sweetie. To protect and serve, that's our Rancom Pre family motto. Hurry up, Sabrina. Hurry up, Chloe's waiting for me. See you tonight, Daddy. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. You're getting a five. I can't feel any negative emotions anymore. What's gone wrong? Where's my Akuma? Final boarding for train number 8065. Platform number 23. Ah, finally, you're here. You're probably going to be hot in those clothes, Chloe. May I remind you, Miss Bustier, that it's always cold in London. Don't worry, Chloe. I've brought heating pads and an English weather survival kit. But where are you two going? Our car is this way. It's all right, Miss Bustier. The mayor of Paris made arrangements for his daughter to be in first class. I'm just taking Chloe's suitcase there. I'll be right back. <sighs> You're still here. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Come back now. Do you need anything? I want my seat completely reclined. Yes, of course, Chloe. Mask! <gasps> it's Big Ben! <laughs> that was so embarrassing. You're too funny, girl. But why are you so tired? What were you doing all night? I, oh, uh, I tried to come up with a plan to find a way to tell Adrian that, um, well, you know. You know what your problem is? You make too many plans. Just be yourself and go with the flow. Hello. Would you like a beverage? Hello. Would you like a beverage? Cranberry juice, please. <laughs> Want anything? Apple juice. to chat, Markov. It's just a service drone. What a shame. Oh. You have no new emails. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you mind swapping seats, Adrian? I want to chat with Nino. Sure. Lesson three. Mm -hmm. motion sickness, and I know Marinette always has a solution to everything. I get it, but she's asleep right now, as you can see, and she's super exhausted, so... I can help you, Lila. I have just what you need in my suitcase. Thanks a million, Sabrina. You're so sweet. <gasps> you have no new emails. Ah, something's not right. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, the Star Train will be under the sea at the Channel Tunnel in just a few moments. Awesome! <laughs> well, how about that? You happy now? You woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chloe. Well, now that I'm awake, I might as well have some herbal tea. Of course, Chloe. I'll take care of that right away. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. 
I'm sure you all recognize me, of course. I'm Chloe Bourgeois. And as you well know, I'm also... Queen Bee! Whatever you do, don't panic. But there's an Akuma. <laughs> lost contact. My Akuma's too far away. You sure it's really an Akuma? It looks more like a harmless butterfly. Chloe, I mean Queen Bee knows what she's talking about. Trust me. What are you doing in your swimming trunks? Well, we're about to go under the sea. Ugh, you are ridiculous, Kim. Utterly ridiculous. I'm scared, Jean-Pierre. Don't worry, Nicole. If it were a real Akuma, there'd already be a supervillain on the train by now. Daddy, do you think Lady Bubble come? Of course not, sweetie. I'm sure there isn't an Akuma on board at all. It's probably just some prank. Your daddy doesn't have a clue. It really is an Akuma. It's <gasps> definitely an Akuma. I should know. I was once Akumatized myself. There's zero risk to anyone now anyway, since the amazing Queen Bee has shunned the car doors, taking the Akuma prisoner. There. Probably just Chloe needing some attention again. Come on, let's head back to our seats. You have no new emails. That's impossible. I can't have failed. I'll never be an astronaut. Who cares about the results of this stupid exam? I can become an astronaut right here and now. Huh? You all get to live my dream with me, shoot off the rails, and fly up in a rocket to explore not just the moon, but the entire universe. Mom? Yes, in your seatbelts. We have liftoff! I was right to change into my swimming trunks. This oh is spacey. I don't think Ladybug and Cat Noir are going to make it up here to save us. Uh, maybe we can persuade your mom to turn back, Max? Sir, you should take a look at this. An observation satellite took these amazing photos earlier. So, that's why I lost touch with my Akuma. It's too far out of range. There's another problem. Adrian's class is on the train, and your son is on the passenger list. He's up in space, and there's nothing I can do. I'm sure Ladybug and Cat Noir will rescue him. Hoping that my enemies will save my son. How ironic. Down to Earth. You can go into space once you pass the exam. Why? Now I have a hundred percent chance of traveling the universe, and I get to take you with me too. Isn't this fantastic? We must get to the operator's cabin to take control of the train and drive it back home. And how do you plan on taking down the supervillain? No one here has any superpowers. No, but you do have a superheroine with you. We have two things in our favor: the element of surprise and the fact that there are a lot of us. Good point, Marinette. <clears throat> Oh, where do you think you're going? Don't you want to sit back and relax? <laughs> I don't want anyone to get hurt, so stay in your seats and enjoy the view. No peace for Ladybug, obviously. Kimmy, Ladybug? But how did you get here? Teleportation, courtesy of the Horse Miraculous. And you? I was already on the train. Lucky, huh? Just like what they say about black cats. No one must know that you were one of the passengers. There are hundreds of people on the train. I'm just a cat in a haystack. Well, I guess you're right. Let's go and stop Star Train. Why don't we use the Horse Miraculous to teleport the train back to Earth? That would be pointless. She could make the train take off again just as quickly. We must capture the Akuma first. But if we do it while the train's up here in space, we'll all freeze and have no air to breathe. Which is why we must first reach Star Train, then capture the Akuma and teleport back to Earth at the same time. Ladybug? 
Cat Noir? Have you been on the train with us the whole time? Of course not. We teleported here using a special miraculous. We're handling this. Gather everyone together at the back of the train, please. Of course. Everyone, please follow me to the back of the train. I hope you remembered to bring my miraculous. Uh, actually... We didn't know you were going to be here. Otherwise, we would have, for sure. <clears throat> Reinforced plexiglass. Unbreakable. Except for my... Cat! No, wait! We might need it when we're face to face with Star Train. Max! Huh? Looks like we have some intruders. You better give up if you don't want to fly too close to the sun! <laughs> Got it! Well done. Max, Markov, we need you to come with us to open the next door. But isn't it too dangerous? We'll protect you. <laughs> What's happening? We gotta be ready for anything. in there. I think we could classify this as a co-red situation. Good job. You two make an awesome pair, too. Just like me and the lady. Uh, Markov, check the oxygen level in the next car. It's decreasing quickly. Star Train is creating a void. The temperature inside will soon be close to absolute zero. Max won't be able to hold on in these conditions without superpowers. <laughs> Max Conte, here's the Miraculous of the Horse, which grants the power of teleportation. You will use it for the greater good. Once the job is done, you will return the Miraculous to me. Can I trust you? You can count on me 100%, Ladybug. I'll do everything I can to save my friends and my mom. Mm. Oh, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Uh, hello, my name's Max. Are you glorious and famous? Kelki, mm -hmm. we don't have time for that. Max is perfect for the job, trust me. We're going to the last car. To the door leading to the driver's cab. That's where Star Train is. Gonna have to be fast and in sync. While I handle Star Train and Cat Noir uses his cataclysm, we need you, Max, to teleport the train back to Earth so that I can summon up my miraculous ladybug so everything gets fixed. Got it. All you need to say is, Kelki, full gallop! Kelki, full gallop! Dear super passengers, you can't stop me from living out my galactic dream. I shall conquer the universe! Mm. My little drones! Mm. Attack!
sorry. Looks like I kind of got the spatial coordinates wrong. Well, I heard that your class was supposed to be visiting Big Ben. Miraculous Ladybug! Bye-bye, <laughs> little butterfly. Found it! Thank you, Max. So Children, please, all aboard. Back to London. You have one new email. Hey, Mom! I passed. I told you, Mom, you're the best. That's 100% certain. I'm getting the feeling that was your first and last field trip. That's okay. At least I got to see Big Ben, right? Sure did. No one's seen it as close up as we did. Too bad we got separated at the end. We'll go back there together someday. See ya. Oh no! Poor Adrian! This trip was a total disaster. A total disaster. Really.